Julie, you all right? I think I've got a lead on Tina's pizza guy. That's brilliant. Don't say anything yet, though, not till I'm sure. I'm meeting him at lunchtime. Watch this space. <laughs> There's loads of police out there. Do you know why? Why does everyone always look at me these days when something happens with the police? Well, don't worry. If anyone can clear your name, they can. Trust me. It worked for me. Oh, him and straight women. So you've got some sort of hold over you all or something. <laughs> what? Well, you're all the same. You'll think the sun shines out of his backside. Have you not seen the way he actually talks to people? The way he looks at you when you don't do exactly what he wants when he wants it. The man's a control freak. I should know, I used to live with one. The same man that took you in and put a roof over your head. And when you live with one, you recognise all the signs. I mean, did, did Chantal ever say something to you? Do you think he tried to bully her and all? This is because he asked you to tidy up after yourself and don't want Mac and Mia's home turning into some sort of pigsty. Yeah, that's another thing, Mac and Mia. What? Well, if Grey is this saint that everybody's going on about, you know, this perfect husband, perfect dad, why are his kids living across the road with someone else? What are you doing? Well, Mick don't want it. He's made that obvious. I don't want to waste it. Well, so you're going to give it to Grey? Tina! Oh, sorry, I can't help it. I just ain't easy living in a house with a man who can even think about doing something like that to his kids. But he wasn't thinking then. He is now. I've just had wit fight in his corner in the calf and all. It was one of the worst nights of his life. And he very nearly made a terrible mistake. And that's what it was, a mistake. He's been making up for it ever since. To everyone. He might even have news for you on that pizza boat. You know, I'm not the only one who ain't his biggest fan, don't you? What do you want? Tina. Tina. We need a word. What about? Well, for starters, I need you to give an account of your movements earlier this morning. We also need to discuss some new evidence that's just come in. What new evidence? Let's do this down the neck, shall we? Starting early. Restocking for Christmas. Tina's all but cleared me out. Take, take, take with that one, innit? What? You know, after everything you've done for her, you've really stepped up when she needed the most. Oh, it just makes my blood boil. What does? Just now. She's going on and on about you trying to control everyone. Yeah. Even asked me if Chantelle had ever complained about being bullied by you. Started talking about Mac and Mia moving out and all. What about Mac and Mia moving out? Oh, good. Whoever decided sprouts were Christmassy. <laughs> yes. So that's definitely fixed now, yeah? Well, listen to it, baby. Something like a songbird. You know this is all kicking off tomorrow, don't you? I might have just tripped, yeah? I could, I could have a spare fuse in my book. Yeah, well, you'll get one almighty trip from honey if you don't... Remind me again how we got schmoozed into all of this? <laughs> oh. I need to talk to you about Mac and Mia. What, is their problem? The school won't be on the phone, have they? I want them with me on Christmas Day. We were actually thinking that we could all be together at ours. Oh, right, so you don't think I can look after my own kids too? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What, someone been giving you grief, guy? Okay? Look, just screw them, yeah? Screw them, whoever they are. Right? You can have them in the morning. Then I want them home. 